In this video, I am going to show how we can obfuscate JavaScript files in React Native Bundle. So right now I have a source folder where we have two components, hello and world. Hello has a text hello and world has a text world. And uh, app.jsx file has uh, the boilerplate React Native code. I have removed some of them. And I'm going to use a plugin uh, called Obfuscator IO Metro plugin. Uh, let's install this. I have installed it as a dev dependency because it is only required in bundling. So let's follow the instruction and add it into metro configuration this option is not required and we can remove it let me format this now let's run So app is running correctly, so there is no issue. So let's uh, change this option to true. So it will uh, create a folder called .jso and in which folder we can see our obfuscated files. So let's run the app again. Right now there is no folder .jso. Uh, after bundling it will create a .jso folder and we can see the obfuscated files there yeah so here it is so we can see the app.js file and the obfuscated code similarly for the hello.js file let me uh, check how the bundle looks like so let's delete it and let me build the apk without the plugin first then i will check the difference so i have commented the plugin so it will not obfuscate the bundle so let's check So in the release you can check the bundle so this is how it looks like normally so let me let me add the metro plugin and now let's build the APK again So let's check so this is how it looks like if we include the uh, obfuscator plugin this seems like obfuscated so in most of the app we don't need this plugin because we don't have like sensitive data but if you want you can use this plugin but there is some trade-off of obfuscating the files because you can see like there is a lots of code that is that has been added so it will increase your bundle size and uh, there is also another trade-off like uh, in logging uh, if you if you get any error message and if you are using some tools like Sentry, then you may not get the correct error message. 